Hi everybody and welcome to Joey's Crazy Life where I discuss things that should not be happening to people but always happen to me or happen to us or oh so another day goes by that my caregivers are coming irregularly so you guys know I have this Medicaid company right and in which I have been approved for some number of hours each week for uh, for attendant services and so I've been fighting with all of that forever and ever and ever since last August getting different companies and all this you've heard all the all the tales all the stuff and so uh you know this um it's been going good for a couple of weeks, a few weeks now, and then this lady I have in the morning, she, um, apparently she put her two weeks in the other day, and upon doing that as well, she basically stopped coming over here with excuse after excuse. First time it was like she had allergy problems or something, and she had to go to the doctor, and then something happened to her car and then just like I'm like okay so they were getting the lady who helps me at night on the weekdays to fill her spot in the mornings well to me that's been a problem because they asked her to come the weekend mornings before Easter and she did not show up either day Saturday or Sunday so they asked her again, Easter weekend, to fill the mornings, and she showed up Saturday morning and not Sunday morning, claiming she is sick, I guess. And so, that lady was supposed to be here last night, and she didn't show up last night. Well, so of course I'm going to call the company, see what's going on, because I haven't heard a single thing. <sighs> They finally get in touch with her and she's making up excuses. The, the the office lady feels like she's just randomly making up excuses to not come in. But I told her, I said, I already told you that was my opinion about this lady. <laughs> like, people don't understand. I mean, we live the life. We know people. And plus, I have a major in psychology. Okay, an associate's major. It's not a master's degree or anything like that. But still, coupled, you know, coupled with the fact that we see people come and go all day long, Jason and I know people. And so I told the company this already with this lady. She just doesn't feel like working. Now, maybe that's just my opinion, and that is not the actual case. But... She said she got the impression of that from this lady last night when talking to her and making up all these excuses not to be here anyway. So basically, my morning person is MIA, my night person is MIA. Thank you so much to our friends Karen and Myra for filling in and helping me get up and go to bed and, and things. But... I just don't understand it. You know, I've been, I told you guys how I volunteered at Manor Park for five years because I felt like it. I mean, yeah, did Jason and I need the money? Sure. Who doesn't need the money, right? But I just went there <laughs> to chill out with the people because I loved them that much and I kept coming back, right? Now, I know sometimes people's situations isn't as such and they can't just go volunteer and do stuff like that. But... They're getting paid to be here, and I don't understand all this craziness, especially when they're, like, it's not, I mean, they shouldn't stiff at any job, right, but it's not like working at McDonald's or something. <laughs> I wouldn't even do that if I worked at McDonald's, but still, this is taking care of somebody. Me, like, I would consider that the highest honor of my life, I guess. <laughs> Is taking care of somebody else and doing it well to where they are happy they're getting up in the morning and happy they can, you know, happy that they're 
about their day and their lives you know that would be a great honor to me like i wouldn't be messing around throwing that away just disrespecting people i mean and then also the way i look at it is like well i mean if i wasn't already in this position you know what people you people are going to get old eventually and they might need help too well the way I see it is what goes around comes around and so people who do this kind of mess to to others they're gonna get someone just like them caring for them when they need it so how does that make any sense that they're doing all this craziness to other people you know I just don't understand it and I mean, like I said I would never do it but people are different than me and um but it's just it causes all kinds of stress and people don't even think about the stress that they cause other people you know i go i went to bed last night my my back was hurting my hip my le left side of my hip was really hurting and i just crawled into bed and just like i don't know i was just in pain last night and sh shockingly I fell right to sleep uh, maybe it's because I knew I was, somebody was coming in the morning and you know but sometimes I can't sleep sometimes I'm just hurting my neck was bugging me on this side too I think it's all this one big knot in my back it just kind of hurts in different places and so I don't know what's going on um, and I wish these companies could hire more people or would hire more people or I don't know what that that they actually like maybe screen I don't know if they screen these people or just be like hey you want a job come on you know and they they're great they work for a, a few weeks and then they find excuses and quit and it's no uh, uh, skin off their nose what do they say you know it's no I don't get it. In other news, one of the two phone calls I was expecting, um, I feel like it turned out well. We're going to see next week when they make their decision. It was about increasing my hours. You know, they lowered them from 32 and a half to 28, which is a big deal. So I had that phone call yesterday, and I think it went well. We're going to find out. But... I'll keep you guys updated on that, and, um, but please keep me in your thoughts, your good thoughts and prayers and stuff that, that this caregiver situation works out, because I just, it's nuts, and it's hard to handle, and like you guys know, I can't do everything myself, and I really try and do what I can do, but there's just, you know, I can't finish my daily activity by myself and so um that is a real strain on me and uh i'm still waiting waiting on this ssi decision I, I was supposed to have heard something already i don't know what's going on with that basically i'm just a mess right now <laughs> and i thought yesterday like last night like oh man i didn't even um I haven't even posted in a couple of days and you know apart from our live one that stuff and group stuff I, I've done with Jason but I haven't done a single one so that's my news it's weird it's it's uh, yeah it's gonna get better it, it is and uh, I think I'm gonna go have some cookies right now <laughs> Jason doesn't know that part yet okay love you guys I'll talk to you later thanks